Well, thanks for joining me on Jewel of the Seas for our 12-night transatlantic cruise. I was on the ship previously on the 8-day Mediterranean portion. Check out those videos if you get a chance. Barcelona in the daytime. Uh, we're loading passengers. I guess we're only about half full. They said about uh, 11, 1,200 people on board. There's Gaudi's church uh, straight across there and the cable cars. Well, day two of the transatlantic uh, crossing. Uh, that's sea day. <laughs> Imagine that. We're uh, headed towards the Straits of Gibraltar. I should reach that sometime this afternoon. Uh, it's pretty hazy out though. I don't know if we'll be able to see much. Um, just a nice relaxing day at sea. Got up and walked around the deck a little bit this morning. To get the blood pumping and now it's time to find a good book, I think. And, and, and a seat and do some reading. So I'll catch you later. Well, I entertained myself that afternoon by going to the port's highlight talk. Um, there were only two ports, uh, Madeira and Ponta Delgada. This is before we realized that we weren't going to end up there and end up in the uh, Canary Islands instead. But it was an entertaining afternoon. Okay, these are the dinner mates. Say hi, hi everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Everybody, everybody enjoying the cruise? Yes. Yeah, you, everybody knows these two. Well, that was me again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, waiting on our dinner. It's supposed to be very good. And we have lots of wine. Yes. Thanks to Larry. Oh. And that was very nice of you to contribute. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you. As I just mentioned, the, uh, the original scheduled stops were Madeira and uh, Ponta Delgada. Uh, the captain, in his wisdom, and, and in concert with Royal Caribbean headquarters, decided that the, the storms that were passing through were a little too rough, so they diverted us to the Canary Islands, where we visited Santa Cruz and Las Palmas before heading across to Port Canaveral. Our first sunrise in the Atlantic. Michael, happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Number three. The next morning found us in Santa Cruz. Lovely spot. Well, there's our ship over there somewhere. Uh, the shuttle just brought us around and dropped us off. Uh, city center. I remember this. This that had the netting on it the last time we were here. Yeah. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, the guy's wearing a fig leaf, so uh, Mike said it was so safe. It's quite safe. It's safe. Okay. Nothing in my ear. He's. Yesterday was Mike's birthday, so today he's recovering. You'll notice the water in his hand. <laughs> yeah. All paybacks. Definitely, I'm going on the wagon. <laughs> and Tenerife honors those who gave their life for Spain is the best we could figure out. Well, this is the shopping area. Getting our little trinkets for everybody at home. Janet's on the search for some perfume. Got to find a little chocolate shop for the, some people on board. And then we're just going to turn around and go home. Oh, say goodbye to Tenerife. Uh, headed to Las Palmas. Short little hop. Uh, we'll be there early in the morning. It was kind of a fun place. Shopping. I missed the museum. A couple of people said there was a museum there with the cannon that uh, allegedly shot off uh, Lord Nelson's arm. At least we're staying out of the weather here. Uh, it was a beautiful day.
had to come get a, a video of the Royal Caribbean Zoo. They're starting to escape. You'll notice them all around the pool. These guys are by the hot tub. Yeah, these guys are hanging in their cages. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Grand Canary. Uh, Las Palmas, I believe. We'll be getting off here in a minute. And taking a stroll around. I remember right, there's a pretty good little bar right over there somewhere. Well, imagine that, I was mistaken earlier. This is not the place we were at before. Uh, this is uh, this is new. Never been here before. We're getting some information maps right now. Mike and Janet are over there getting them. Uh, just wander around here. This is a good sized city. A casino over there, shopping mall here. Uh, the beach at the. This is the. Uh, what is Las this? Palmas. This is Las, Las Palmas. Palmas and Grand Canary. And they must import this stuff because it's not lava. It's not the black beaches. No, it's good sand. It's good sand, yeah. So, quite the beach. Well, that was our walk around Las Palmas. Walk through the town to the beach on the other side. Now we're walking back to the ship. Nice town. Enjoyable, a little warm. Late October, hell, almost a Halloween. And it's warm here. 60 miles off the coast of Africa. The walking wounded here, we're <laughs> recovering from all of our little injuries. Well, that was our walk around Las Palmas. Headed back to the ship. We got up this morning and uh, it's, of course it's Halloween morning. They have the uh, the centrum all decorated with balloons and Halloween uh, paraphernalia. It's pretty pretty cute. Around the stairs. Well, I think I found one of Wendy's crocheted ducks done in a Halloween fashion. Thank you, Wendy. Mike and Vicky. Good morning. Uh, good morning. The sunrise on Halloween morning, right? Halloween, Halloween. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Okay. If we can hear this through the wind. The yeah. sunrise on Halloween morning. Here comes the sun. Nice morning out in the mid Atlantic. Just enough sway to put you to sleep. Uh, one more shot before it pops up. Check out those seas. This is a nice ride so far. I'm glad the uh, captain diverted to the Canary Islands to avoid the storm. Royal Caribbean and the passengers went all out to celebrate Halloween. Where do you get a load of some of the costumes? Okay, who are you guys? Good job. <laughs> Man, these guys are serious about Halloween. <laughs> we met the Sheep family there. They're, they're my uh, number one uh, pick. And I see Freddie uh, Flintstone down there is looking pretty good. He got some college graduates and some uh, Egyptians and uh, I don't have a clue what those people are, but... Uh, Quite a diverse crowd, some pirates and some witches and some vampires. Uh, we got Beetlejuice in there. It's not every day you sit at the bar with Dracula and the Wicked Witch of the West, so I gotta, <laughs> it, uh, it's a, so, so Drac, what are you drinking there? Is that the, my blood. And the bar staff's at the other end of the bar, so that they don't want that. Totally ignoring that. I think that's what. And this this is the group. This 
I don't, I don't want to describe the group, but this is the group. We this is sign this non-disclosures. Is, that's right. This is this is Marsh's bar. This is the Diamond Club in Exile, right? That, <laughs> Demarcia. <laughs> Demarcia. There we go. On the sea days throughout the cruise, Captain Paul Golden, retired from the United States Coast Guard, gave some very interesting talks about the multitude of services the Coast Guard provides the country. Now, wrapping up our uh, transatlantic cruise, the last couple days had some. Uh, it's so, so weather. It's uh, running into some storms. Today's clear, but uh, still got a little bit of wave action going on. Nothing the ship can't handle, though. Uh, the captain made a wise move, diverting us. Oh, there goes some flying fish. The captain uh, made a wise move, diverting us from the uh, Azores to the Canary, because we'd have run smack dab through through that. Uh, I don't know if it was a tropical storm or a minor uh, uh, hurricane, but uh, anyway, much, much better sailing uh, coming out of the Azores and coming around south, so we'll be home the uh, day after tomorrow, one more day, one more day on the cruise. Had fun, met a lot of people, uh, a lot of good people. Uh, last night of the cruise. Welcome back to the USA party. Man, it's been a good cruise. Marsha, the bartenders, made this one spectacular. Headed home in the morning. Time to go to bed. Well, last morning on the ship. Made it to Port Canaveral. You see the Disney ships over there. It's going to be a busy morning. Got to get off, get the bag, get through immigration, uh, customs, find a bus, get to the airport, fly home. It's a fun cruise. Again, a lot of good people. Had fun. Uh, be doing it again in December. Uh, it'll be the uh, adventure of the seas out of Galveston. Hope you enjoyed it. I did.